Hi! Today I'll show you some sneaky tips, tricks and shortcuts in FL Studio you probably don't know about. These are tips and tricks I feel I never see covered by anyone, but that I feel is absolutely worth learning. If you do know some of these, don't worry, this video has timestamps so you can skip ahead to see the ones you don't know yet. The reason I call these tricks and shortcuts sneaky is because they aren't immediately obvious. They are sort of hidden and you have to actively look for them to find them. In fact, I have used FL Studio for 10 years now and I didn't pick up on some of these before a few months ago. There are a lot of lesser known shortcuts in FL Studio, but in this video I have condensed it into my own personal favorites. So this video will cover shortcuts and tricks that are lesser known that I have actually implemented into my own workflow. So enjoy! The first shortcut I got for you is F3, which brings up this secret toolbar alongside the playlist options wherever your cursor is. So you don't have to click all the way over here to select your tools. I recommend learning the shortcuts for these tools individually for an even faster workflow. You can see them in the hint panel by hovering over the different tools. But this secret toolbar is the next best thing. And sometimes it's even more practical. For example, when you have enabled your typing keyboard as a piano keyboard, you can still use the F3 shortcuts, but not the individual ones. It's also nice that you can swiftly access the playlist options if you need to. The next tip I have for you is probably my absolute favorite. When you are in the piano roll of any given VST, you can right click its name up here to open it. It's amazing, honestly. I feel this alone has saved me hours. Just eliminating that step of having to open the channel rack first before opening the plugin, it just feels so good. Next, I have a tip I learned just a few days ago from Ashik, who left a comment on one of my Instagram posts saying, middle clicking makes knobs and faders reset. So if you click a fader or knob with your mouse wheel, it gets reset to its original position. And again, just eliminating that extra step of having to right click before clicking reset feels so good. And this quickly adds up. Eliminate one step here and one step there. And before you know it, you're saving yourself hours of work. While we are talking about the mouse wheel, I would also like to point out that you can use it to navigate in the playlist. Just click and hold and you can drag around. In my opinion, this is a lot more efficient than navigating with this bar above. I got one last for the mouse wheel before we move on you can actually swap out samples with it. Just open any given sample you want to replace, head on over to your browser and click your mouse wheel to replace every instance of that sample. It's at least slightly less cumbersome than manually dragging the samples in and you avoid accidentally dragging them into your playlist. Ugh. If you are tired of moving sections of your track like this when you need more space, then this next tip is for you. Mark how much space you need, let's say eight bars, then click F3 to bring up the secret toolbar we just learned about. Click edit and then select insert space. And boom, everything gets moved out of the way with just a few clicks. You can also choose slice and insert space if you have lots of overlapping automation clips and stuff like that. In a similar way, if you need to switch the position of sections of your track, for example, if you want your pre-chorus to lead directly into the bridge, before the last chorus or something, there's actually a simple method to do it by using time markers. First, you got to go to playlist options and select time markers to add the first one. But from here, you can just right click wherever you want on the timeline to add new ones. Make sure every section of your track is properly labeled. Then we can move sections around by right clicking the time markers and either choose move content left or move content right. And it will move everything in that section accordingly. Next up, here are the shortcuts you need to know to rearrange stuff in FL Studio. To rearrange effects in the mixer, you just need to hover and scroll over them. To rearrange mixer tracks, hold shift while you hover and scroll. And if you hold control and shift, you can rearrange the positions of the playlist tracks. If you are like me, you like to make a lot of things unique and try out a lot of different things. And before you know it, you have six different automation clips where you just need one. Luckily, you can just merge them back together by selecting them and click Ctrl, Alt and G. And there you go. The shortcut for merging patterns is Ctrl, G. Merging automation clips like this can be handy if you, for example, want to copy it to another parameter. To do that, double click the automation you wish to copy, then click this wrench icon and choose Copy State. Then similarly, double click the automation clip you wish to paste this information to, click the wrench icon and select Paste State. And there you go. Sometimes you don't need to copy the automation clip, but just link other parameters directly to it. 
To do that, you just choose link to controller instead of create automation clip when you right click any given parameter. Then you just need to look for the automation clip you want to link it to and select it. Before I end this video, I have a bonus tip for everyone sticking with me so far. You can auto color entire groups by right clicking it and select auto color group. And that's it. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. Before you click off, if this helped you out, do give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I promise to bless your feed with great FL Studio content. If you feel I missed some tricks or shortcuts that should have been in this video, feel free to share them in the comments down below. And let me know if you want to see more content like this. Do you want to know more shortcuts and tricks and tips? Should I make more compilation based videos like, like this one? Let me know in the comments so I know to prioritize it. If you want to support me and what I do, you can use my affiliate link when shopping for plugins at pluginboutique.com. Link is in the description down below. See ya!